The island of New Guinea possesses the third largest tropical rainforest on the planet, after the Amazon and the Congo Basin. About half of that forest belongs to Papua New Guinea. One in 20 of all animals and plant species are found here, making it one of the most biologically diverse places on Earth. Many of these species are found in the mountainous forests of the island nation's interior. But Papua New Guinea's forests are under threat. The population has grown from 2.8 million in 1975 to 7.6 million today, and that growth, associated with poverty conditions, has led to the cutting down and burning of forests. Commercial agriculture has put further pressure on the forests as a main cause of land use change, while in other areas, logging has degraded primary forest to secondary forest. This degradation is affecting the livelihoods of indigenous people. Joseph, from Bundi village in the southern Madang province of Papua New Guinea, has been hunting bushmeat since he was a boy. Before lawyer got planted, couple now animal where me place I kiss him. That's what now plant him all cut him bush now walk him garden now. All abus, all animal, all this all the same now. All you go long way. In addition to having always provided a source of animal protein to indigenous populations, the forests also provide other foods, such as plants and mushrooms, a crucial safety net when crops fail, and an even more crucial food source for communities that do not practice agriculture. Before time, Papa, Papa had been stopped. Now one kind of look out him, him go, they come in up from me plow piccinini, and I'm look out me plow, so he got good plow bush, now bush long. Cut him the way, now walk him out, now find him all peas, lawara, now find him all pig muruk inside the bush, now kai kai, kiss him na kai kai, so this time benefit me plow community of place. There are more than 800 recognized language groups in Papua New Guinea. Almost all of these groups believe that the forests are inhabited by spirits who must be respected. Forest in Papua New Guinea is very important for the livelihood of our people. And uh, as a responsible government, we want to make certain that we conserve the forest for our people in, in Papua New Guinea, for their livelihood. But in order to effectively manage their forest resources, the government first needs to know much more about the forest resources they possess. This will also promote a dialogue with the Ministry of Agriculture in order to find a common solution to the problem of the high pressure on forests. Which is why now, with the assistance of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, the European Union and Italy, Papua New Guinea, is conducting its first multi-purpose national forest inventory. To assist them to have an accurate uh, and precise data of the forestry resources in the, in the country, and we see this as an opportunity for the country to let in the future their own management in a sustainable manner of the forestry resources. The inventory will not only focus on recording the number of tree species and types of forests, but will also incorporate an assessment of Papua New Guinea's biodiversity. The Italian government is providing funding to the Mountain Partnership, a UN alliance promoting mountain development to undertake this biodiversity survey. We want to put more emphasis on the fact that these forests, due to their exceptional biodiversity, provide a wide range of products and ecosystem services that are of vital importance for the subsistence and the adaptation to climate change of local communities. Mountain ecosystems and their forests have a special role as they provide products and services not only to upstream indigenous communities but also to downstream villages, economies uh, such as water, timber, fibre, maintenance of uh, quality of soils, protection from landslides and so on. 30 people including scientists from Papua New Guinea, Italy and Australia have made the four hour trek to Wanang research station to undergo the training required to get started. For these scientists, it's the chance of a lifetime, but also a daunting one. Quindi la grandissima area che deve essere studiata, tutte le foreste di tutta la Papua Nuova Guinea, l'enorme biodiversità presente 
in queste foreste e anche la scarsità di conoscenze di alcuni aspetti di questa biodiversità e eh, problemi logistici in generale, difficoltà di accesso di alcuni siti, la sicurezza e soprattutto il tempo di lavoro in campo, è stato stimato non più di due giorni per stand forestale. The groups are measuring species diversity and collecting samples of animal and plant species. We're using three techniques. Uh, point count is one where you stand in one spot and for 10 minutes you record every species that you see or hear and its distance from you. The second technique is a McKinnon list where you randomly search around the plot area. That allows you to search for species which you might not detect in the point count, species that are shy. Every 10 species you start the new list and you get an indication of what species turn up regularly on your list as well as an overall list. We're also uh, setting uh, song meter boxes which record all the bird calls in a 24 hour period. After the survey you can go back and go through and listen to the calls and get a list of the calls that you hear, another list of diversity. Meanwhile, the team from Papua New Guinea's Binatang Institute is conducting the survey of insects in the forest. Insects have many important functions, including for human nutrition. Insects uh, provide, uh, uh, it's very important in the rainforest because uh, most of the insects are pollinators, pollinators to almost all the species of plants. Uh, also, they are herbivores, they eat most of the plant leaves and also they provide uh, food to the higher uh, animal taxas like uh, birds, especially the birds. So um, by studying insects, you can also relate with the plants how the health of the forest is. The teams enter the data into a database using Open Forest Collect software, developed by FAO in Rome. The software is open source and allows the team to customize the parameters to enable them to enter and analyze the particular data set they are gathering. Once the data has been inputted, they are sent back to the Binatang Institute in the town of Medang together with the sample themselves for analysis. Improved forest inventory data and a national forest monitoring system are essential if a country wishes to seek results-based payments for Red Plus activities which aim to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from deforestation and forest degradation. As one of the planet's greatest reservoirs of carbon, intact tropical forests are vitally important to the global carbon cycle and thus to global climate. And these forests are not only critical for storing carbon, they protect watersheds, prevent soil erosion and promote soil fertility, functions that are crucially important for sustaining livelihoods. By protecting biodiversity, we aim to reduce the risk of an unsustainable use of forest resources. An unsustainable use that will eventually undermine the resilience of forests and their capacity to provide these goods and services to present and future generations.